I'm eight years old. I play the piano and I've been with Santa for one year. Hi, my name is Lance. I'm nine years old. I played the drums for two years. I'm Teresa. I'm 12 years old and I've been playing piano for two years. Basically, I'm putting this together so that other teachers and other students can learn these principles a little bit maybe easier than we did because we were the first to try it, won't we? What are the four basic principles of learning? Everybody. Attention, processing, storing, and retrieving. Excellent. And do they work well in terms of using them? Yeah. Remembering to pay attention when you start to daydream or you're not interested in something or you know, you're tired or hungry bored. or bored. Yeah, that's probably a big one, right? Or dead. So we realize that no one can give 100% concentration all the time. We're not robots, right? So what we're learning is, is when to kick our attention and our concentration into high gear, 90 to 100%. And these are some of the simple ways you can do it. So if attention is the first principle, Lance, give me some examples of how to pay attention. Oh, deep breath, water, stretch. When you talk about it, when you say, okay, take a deep breath, what does that do? It's oxygen to the brain, Good. mind, stretch. Good, what's that do for? Just the nerves go. So good, so Teresa helped you out there and keeps the blood flowing. What are the six processes? Seeing, hearing, thinking, reading, writing, and speaking. Excellent. And let's all do that together, the six processes. Seeing, hearing, thinking, reading, writing, doing. Excellent. Seeing, hearing, thinking, reading, writing, doing. You like to see what, what you're learning. That's the best way for you. How about you, Teresa? Seeing. Seeing also, okay. Can you look on that sheet and tell us what percentage we remember by seeing? 30%. 30%, so if we see something, we have a 30% chance of remembering it. Uh, what is the chance of remembering it if, by doing it? 60, 70, 75. 80%. I was close. Okay. Why don't you read off those um, uh, percentages for us? We learn 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we both hear and see, 70% of what we discuss, 80% of what we experience personally, and 95% of what we teach to someone else. Ah, 95% of what we teach to someone else. So basically, Lance told us this class is about learning or learning how to learn, in this case, piano and drums or music in general. But the best way to remember what we're learning is to teach it to someone else. So basically, you two started out the class and then uh, Alex joined us and Lance ta taught him all the grooves on the drums, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Teresa taught him a few things on the piano. And then when Mika joined us, uh, we've been slowly showing her everything we've learned, haven't we? And do you feel that helps you to remember yeah. what you've learned yourself? Okay, and how do you think that actually helps us? Why, why would that help us by showing someone else? Why would that help us remember it or understand it better? Because you, you have to know how to do it before you teach it to someone